Japan has a lot of strange things, but nothing is more bizarre than its vending machine culture. The country has more than 4 million vending machines that rack in over $40 billion in sales a year. $40 billion! That's insane! All these weird vending machines with mysterious items. Are you even seeing this right now? A beetle. Corn soup. <laughs> From Tokyo to Okinawa to Sapporo, there's an average of one vending machine for every 30 people. Right now, I'm in a very remote area of Okinawa Island, and there's vending machines. Here's the drink. It smells like monster. Whether you like your drink hot or cold, the answer is in vending machines. Corn soup. We're gonna go with a, a hot coffee right here. Cheers to my hot coffee. Ice cold. Cold brew black coffee, which is exactly what I like. But it's not only beverages. Sweet potato pie. Tastes pretty fresh too. And that's not all. There are plenty of other bizarre items to choose from. Behind me is a creepy vending machine alley. Come check this out. Cars? It gets even creepier the farther back you walk. Look at this dark little room. What the hell? I'm telling you, this might be the weirdest corner of all of Tokyo. I'm very glad I just bought my mysterious ball from this vending machine. Popcorn vending machine, because who doesn't want some popcorn? This one's really weird. It's a vending machine with a bunch of white boxes with random writings on them. No idea what it is. What the hell is this? <laughs> Baseball snack mini. It's like a candy. Whoa, what the hell? It's like a chocolate. Mmm. If this was in any other country, I would be weirded out. I'm gonna get some disease from this, but in Japan, no way. This is interesting. It's the same yellow packaging tape as the other strange chocolate bar I just ate. And why is there a bunch of rocks in here? It just keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder. How do I even open this? Tape? It's in a half water bottle. This is a cut off water bottle. A bunch of rocks. Which we're gonna dump out on the ground. And then in comes a. Are you even seeing this right now? A beetle. It's supposed to walk, but it doesn't walk. So in the last five minutes from vending machines, I've gotten this weird chocolate bar, this softball, and a beetle. I'm out of here. Why are there so many vending machines in Japan? The first answer is that the Japanese are obsessed with efficiency. Order. They have found out a way to automate everything that they can think of. Taxi doors. Door just magically opens for you when you get in. Toilet seats. If you don't want anyone next to you to hear your pooping sounds, press this music button and a rainforest sound comes on. Watch. <laughs> and even change from 7-Eleven. It's so weird, you don't give them any money. You just put it in the machine and go. I just walked into this ramen restaurant and I order on this little machine in front of me. I don't speak to anyone. Convenience is one of the most incredible things about Japan, and that is reflected directly in its vending machine culture. Love the vending machine culture of Japan. Another reason why there are so many vending machines here has to do with infertility and an aging population. Believe it or not, the average age in Japan is over 50, and since they aren't reproducing very often, they are just getting older. How old are you? Oh, too old. 80? 81. 83. 83. Wow. That means that it's very hard to find staff to work at the counters at shops and convenience stores. Vending machines just make life easier. The third reason for why vending machines are so popular is the high real estate prices and busy streets. The Japanese don't have much room to store consumer goods, so vending machines is a much easier way to do it than retail stores. Look how small it is. It only takes up like a two foot by two foot space. As you can imagine, these vending machines are carrying so much cash, but nobody would dare to go inside. I love technology and innovation, and I absolutely love Japan, as you can probably tell by watching this video. And vending machines 
are just an integral part of Japanese culture. And if you come here, it just makes it more fun. It makes exploring the city a blast. And I hope that it's something that you can check out on your next visit to Tokyo. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm Drubinsky, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe down there if you want to see more inspiring people stories, and check out my main channel below where I bring you on the most epic adventures from every country. Also, I'm giving away for free all of my best travel tips and secrets for finding cheap flights on that middle link. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.